Hi YouTube, this is Rose. I'm going to read from an article that I will be leaving a link for you. As you will read below, every survivor describes narcissists in dangerous terms. Each person that has been victimized personally by a narcissist will warn you and serve as a cautionary tale that if you welcome a narcissist into your life, you are dancing with the devil. Welcoming the them into welcoming them into do one thing and one thing only to you use abuse and destroy you many onlookers or those who haven't experienced a narcissist is an un, in an unmasked state have had a hard time believing that the people we describe and the horrendous acts of abuse committed on us we, were done by the very people they have a different opinion of they don't understand the disorder modems operandi they don't understand that their belief that the narcissist is a likable or admirable character is evident that the danger has already started. Many onlookers or those who haven't experienced narcissists in an unmasked state have had a hard time believing that the people we describe and the horrendous acts of abuse committed on us were done by the very people they have a different opinion of. They don't understand the disorder's modus operandi. They don't understand that their belief that the narcissist is a likable or admirable character is evident that the danger has already started. They are manipulated by the narcissist a mask and they are in complete denial of reality. There are two main traits of a narcissist that most other symptomology stems from delusional reality and lack of empathy. Delusional reality, the first reason a narcissist is dangerous to others is because they are in complete denial of reality. Here are a few of the delusions that are always present in a narcissist's, narcissist's psyche. Delusion of grandeur, this is a denial of reality, it comes in the form of a narcissist having the belief about themselves that they just deserve more. They're larger than life, celebrities in their own minds entitled to take from people without having to give anything back. Statements that reflect delusions of grandeur go something like this. Don't you know who I am? According to the DSM IVTR, grandiose type symptoms include grossly exaggerated beliefs of one's own self-worth, power, knowledge, identity, exceptional relationship to div divity or famous person exceptional relationship to divity or famous person perfect image anyone who thinks that perfection is obtainable and struggles to feel worthy without achieving perfection is not in touch with reality reality dictates that we are fallible we make mistakes we fail we fumble we screw up this is a fact of life nature the universe for the narcissist, they possess the delusion that if they or the people around them achieve an image of being perfect, that they will finally feel okay. They're striving for something outside of themselves to feel good inside. This will never happen. Entitlement. Others exist to serve them. Narcissists hold the delusional thought that other human beings are objects that only exist to serve their needs. They view others in a inhuman way which allows them to act on us with no empathy because they don't believe we have any rights or our own that the narcissist needs to pay attention to thus complete complete and utter disregard for the rights of others stems from their delusional thought that only one person benefits and that is the narcissist and that is the narcissist themselves narcissists view that everyone owes them narcissists view that everyone owes them is not in any way shape or form realistic boundaries don't exist not being aware of boundaries that exist between two people is denial of reality the reality is that the two people have separated identities with separate thoughts feelings motivation streams ideas goals and rights when a narcissist treats others as if they have when a narcissist treats others as if they have the right to order control push dictate or 
another's behavior, even if it's manipulatively disguised as helpful advice, they are more driven by their desire for power than they are for the right of the person they are controlling to think, feel, act for themselves, and are blinded from the reality by that desire for power. Non-identity equals non-accountability. Because a narcissist has a flexible, chameleon-like identity, they have no solid foundation of self other than being a manipulative, changing being. They have no sense of self, form, of certain expectations of rules, and rules of conduct will flow. Their modem, modus operandi is whatever works. Since they hold no code of ethics, their behaviors are categorized to them as either effective or non-effective. Effective behavior will be repeated regardless of consequence to others. Since a narcissist has no boundaries, they do not see the impact to others because they don't see them as others. A narcissist construct literally goes like this. A narcissist pounds on your thumb with a hammer. You scream in pain and yell, What did you do that for? <laughs> a narcissist will be able to say, Do what? Believing they did nothing because they don't feel any pain whatsoever in their thumb. The subject will be dropped and you will spend the your time feeling bewildered, perhaps perplexed by the insanity of it all, until it happens again and then you focus on the atrocity and won't be able to see that this has been the pattern all along. Narcissists are in charge of reality. Narcissists are in charge of reality. Power mongers, control freaks who can't recognize boundaries are the only people who can possibly believe that what they think is the reality for everyone. If it, it becomes very apparent that the narcissist believes themselves to be all-knowing when they insist that they are that they know what you think and what you are really saying, who you really are, and what your mo motivation really is. The entitlement and lack of boundaries allows them to play God. They are writers of the script, great puppeteers, the all-knowing Wizard of Oz. Worn down, the target finds it easier just to roll over and fold, realizes the narcissist's ability to argue and fight surpasses your own. We aren't interested in winning, just being heard, but they're comes a point where it's just too exhausting to take on take the narcissist to task on the frequent power plays most realistic people have an awareness of when they are acting in manipulative or coercive manner and feels a sense of responsibility to back off not to cross the line or to offer unsolicited advice or opinions we respect the boundaries of others because we are are aware they exist. Narcissists have no concept of these boundaries or constitute or what constitute obtrusive behavior. Rapists, child molesters, robbers, murderers have the same inhumane view of people, viewing them as objects to exploit at will and have no concept that this is wrong to violate or cross democration lines of another property being or identity. We as an enlightened society know that these types of people are dangerous. Frankly, we would be quite relieved committing these people to institutions so they can harm society so they can't harm society in these atrocious ways. If you can't understand this danger, then you can't understand why former victims of narcissists view them with the same passionate concern for safety of themselves and others. Lack of empathy. In my personal opinion, that empathy is one of the qualities that makes us all true human beings. The ability to have compassion for a fellow man that causes us to behave in ways that do no harm, that is a powerful, powerfully connecting emotion. Empathy is having the ability to step into another's experience, set yourself aside. It allows you to honor another's feelings and need in a way that enriches and edifies them. We need each other to respond in empathetic ways to our pain, journey, joys, through life. It connects us. One of the keys presenting traits of narcissism is their utterly incapability to empathize. When you see a pattern of human cruelty that the narcissist commits, 
on their loved ones or afflicts, you will see the lack of empathy presents in various ways. Ignoring requests to cease behavior like cheating, stealing, lying, etc. Name calling, criticizing, belittling, mean jokes, jabs, put downs, verbal abuse, serial cheating. Arguments surrounding the same issues over and over, turning around the pattern concerns to blame them and block conversation. A frustrated partner who doesn't feel heard, listened to, understood, no closure, no apology, no accountability, no consequence, no change, a pattern who, a partner who suffers the consequence of narcissist, narcissist repetitive patterns of poor destructive choices. The bottom line to all these behaviors, they just don't care. This bears repeating, they just don't care. Narcissists are capable of inflicting physical and psychological harm to others and are removed by plights of those they hurt. If you are trying to analyze a narcissist's behavior and hear yourself saying, but they should, stop right there. Whether or not a narcissist should care is irrelevant because it was built into them a very long time ago. They can't care. They don't have that built-in capacity to care. They lack empathy. When discussing the indigenous subtext to a narcissist's dangerous behavior, let's remember that on the surface the narcissist is still pretending, charming, cunning, manipulative, giving you some bones, whatever behaviors work to get you to continue to stick around even though the narcissist doesn't care and knows they don't care. Truly will truly care will be the tools they use again and again to keep you around confused this is what the narcissist survivor goes through every moment there are two relationships occurring that is just out of the conscious awareness of targets they pretend relationships where the narcissist use words not affection to convince you that you are having a loving relationship you're on the same page your future is looking bright if you could only stop being imperfect and doing the things that the narcissist is actually doing to prevent the relationship from working translation if you can just stop being the constant receptacle of a negative trace that the narcissist is charged on you and you never ask for anything for yourself don't question any twisted reality you live in and then things will work out and you'll get a version of what you want their love however conditional it is it is this smoke and mirrors relationship is the one where the talk is that the narcissist cares about you it's the reality we try to live in because there is no other it's the reality we try to live in because the other is just too painful to bear the other relationship is the real one the constant barrage of twisted head games, the layers and levels of abuse, the siphoning of your soul and life force, the betrayals going on behind your back, the, manip the manipulation, the control, the, slam the slamming and blame, the threats, the world salads, the lies. This is the relationship that is evident in behavior that the narcissist truly does not care we're, while we're in while we are in it we keep this reality at arm's length the general populace will feel fear when it, a serial killer's mo is displayed on the nightly television they see a lack of empathy quite clearly and realize that there is something seriously wrong with these people and be aghast over the heartlessness someone can behave towards another human being targets live this reality at close and personal every single day we see the dangers firsthand we live it we don't suddenly wake up one day you know I'm going to be a zealot of about narcissism and I want to pick on these lovely people because I'm mad at them <laughs> if someone is selling themselves this delusional bit of goods they are surely held captive by the narcissist delusions we are zealous about getting the word out there about this disorder and this abuse because we've all been burnt by the danger of a narcissist disorder. Not just touched with a match slightly burnt out, 
but our houses, our lives, our souls, our identities, our relationships, our values, our trust, our worldviews have been torched to the ground in an aggressive act of intentional arson. Although we are the star and credible witness to this crime and have the information that will put this criminal away for years so that someone else does not suffer the same atrocity, so one believes it or cares enough that it will step that they will step in and help us. We can make good use of our effort to enlighten and educate others who are vulnerable to this abuse and be supportive to other targets who abused has been ignored and invalidated by others who have a problem recognizing their danger. It's been said that the more is learned about narcissism through what their former targets have to say about them than anything they could say about themselves. I'll leave the link in case you want to check it out. Thank you for your time. God bless. Bye.